Hi, everybody. So this is uh, walking meditation instructions for your day of practice. Um, it's really simple. Uh, it requires a lot of concentration, just like sitting meditation. Some people really like walking meditation. A very important thing about it is that it brings up the energy between sittings. Uh, some people walk super slowly. Some people walk a little faster. The whole point is paying attention to what's going on in your feet and lower legs. So the walking itself uh, becomes your object of meditation. You are not trying to um, get anywhere. That's a big deal. I mean, sometimes when you're doing walking meditation, you're only going about 10 or 20 feet and then stopping and doing standing meditation, which I'll also demonstrate. And it's very tempting, of course, to think about where you're going. Well, the fact is you're going nowhere. And when you get to the other side of nowhere, you're just going back to the other other side of nowhere again. It's so probably when um, you actually do this, uh, when I actually set the schedule for you, I'll be asking you to start with about 10 minutes of walking meditation, or even five, just while you get used to it. And then um, we'll be moving into longer meditations, uh, longer periods of walking meditation as we go. Okay, so here we go. This is walking meditation. I think I may have told you earlier on that the um, classical mindful instructions are to <clears throat> practice mindfulness in all positions, sitting, lying down, standing, and walking. So we've done a lot of lying down meditation with the body scan and focusing on the body. We've done a fair amount of sitting meditation. I know that's pretty challenging. And now we're going to do some walking meditation. So here's how it goes. It's simply about lifting, moving, and placing of the foot and paying attention to the um, uh, sensations in the foot and the lower leg. And just as in sitting meditation, whenever your mind wanders somewhere else, the invitation is to bring it back to walking and to the sensations of walking particularly in the feet and the lower legs. Now, I like to go really slowly. Uh, you might not. This is a practice that you can also bring out into your day when you're walking to somewhere or you actually are trying to uh, get somewhere. But instead of focusing on the trying to get somewhere, you focus on the walking itself, the sensations of walking. You might expand your field of awareness in those situations to um, what's going on around you to sights and sounds. Remember the study that we read a few weeks ago in which I mentioned that most people, um, or probably about 49% of the people most of the time who are studied do not know what they were doing um, while they were <laughs> thinking, whatever they were thinking. So the idea in walking meditation, as in all meditation practices, is to know what you're doing. And we know from that study and 26 years of reportage from the monastic community and other meditation communities that knowing what you're doing makes you happier than not knowing what you're doing. So here we go, knowing what we're doing. This is uh, the simple practice of walking meditation. So it's simply a matter of lifting, moving, and placing the foot. Lifting, moving, placing. Lifting, moving, placing. Now, I would suggest for those of you who have um, are comfortable that you walk barefoot. I'm walking in uh, sneakers because I have orthotics because of my clunky knees, so it's more comfortable to walk clad with clad feet. Um, but I'm missing out on the aspect of uh, really. Um, discrete and intense sensations in the feet that I would have if I were not wearing sneakers. So you want to stop and stand. I like to close my eyes when I stand. Um, if you decide to close your eyes, if you feel at all dizzy, even for a second, open your eyes. If you need to feel dizzy, 
to bend. Let the belly drop. You can't relax when you're standing if you're trying to hold in the abdomen. So just let it drop. If you're walking lane, you can do 15 feet or so. I'm using this uh, 10 feet now. And you turn. Be aware of turning. Be aware of the sensations in your feet and lower legs. And I'm going to continue in my walking lane in the other direction. Lift, move, place. Lift, move. Lift, move, place. This can be extremely relaxing. Get into it. It also can be very helpful after a period of sitting, in which there may be some agitation in the sitting or sloth and torpor. Very much in the body. Don't you know, try to go anywhere. Just lift and move in the place of each foot. Noticing the sensations. I'm stopping and standing and closing my eyes. Like I said, you may or may not choose to. Are you ready? The mind leaves, gently invite it back. What does it feel like in the feet? What does it feel like in the lower leg and particularly the calf? Walking with dignity, always. If it's possible, do your walking meditation and setting where you won't be interrupted. Okay, now I'm going to face the camera. So if there are no words for the walking meditation. Okay, I was just doing a little standing. You may have seen a dog in the video, I'm not sure. You may see a dog right now. I think the dog is actually Zora, as you may remember what's her name. He's quite calm because um, he's been getting calm mm -hmm. vibes from my walking meditation. So I think that's enough for a demo. That's all we wanted to do is uh, Show your walking meditation, and in effect, on a uh, very rambunctious two and a half year old puppy. Um, so, I hope you find the practice really enjoyable, relaxing, a nice contrast to the sitting meditation, 
and I'll be filling you in on where the walking meditation is going to be in your um, uh, day of uh, silent meditation in the instructions that you will be receiving soon. So uh, thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.